Hey guys, so I'm back today with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I prep my hair before I get a protective style. So tomorrow I'm getting my first protective style of the year, which is going to be a crochet, which is one of my go-to favorite protective styles. So if you're interested in the type of hair that I do normally use for my crochet as well as that style, I'll link a video above so you can check that out. So protecting your hair is fine, but you definitely want to protect healthy hair. So today I'm going to be sharing the products that I use as well as the routine that I do prior to get a protecting style. So my hair is up in this little bun. We're going to take it down and get started. So you can't start your wash day without a good shampoo. Today I'm using the Honey Babies Naturals Honey Child Moisture Balance Gentle Shampoo. I absolutely love using this product because it cleans the hair really well but it also leaves some moisture in there. Now if my scalp and hair was pretty dirty I would definitely go in first with the head and shoulders and then follow up with this shampoo because it leaves a little bit of moisture on the hair. Next up, it's time to deep condition. I'm using the Shea Moisture's Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. This has honey and yogurt in it, and I love this deep conditioner because it doubles as a protein treatment as well. And that's typically when I like to do my protein treatments prior to a protective style so that I can actually keep up when my last protein treatment was. So I love this product. It is super thick. It is super moisturizing. And when it comes to protective styling, I definitely want to have a lot of moisture in my hair while it is braided up or whatever is going on with it. I definitely don't want it to dry out my hair or my scalp. So I love using this product. I'm going in now and detangling with my detangling brush and I'm making sure while I'm doing this process, I am sectioning my hair into four sections. And throughout the rest of my wash day, I'm going to keep my hair in these four sections so that my hair does not tangle back up. Once I rinse my deep conditioner out, you guys can see my hair just looks so fluffy and soft and it also is super moisturized. So I absolutely love using that deep conditioner. Next up, it's time to apply my leave-in. I'm using the African Pride's Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baboy Oil Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In Cream. I've been using this product now for about the past six months and I love it. It is super creamy, super thick, and my hair loves creamy leave-ins. It's also a 15 ounce container and it is super affordable. You can find this product at Walmart. So I'm just applying it to my hair, making sure I focus on my ends and then working my way up to my roots. And to lock in all of that moisture, I am using the Main's Choice doesn't get much better than this. This is an avocado and mango blend product and it reminds me a lot of coconut oil because it starts off as a solid. But once you work it into your hands, it does turn into more of a liquid product. So I like to layer my products on to make sure that moisture stays in my hair throughout the entire time that I am wearing my protective style. And as you guys will be able to see, this product just adds tons of moisture and shine to my hair. Once I let my hair dry a little bit, I'm going to go in and blow it out lightly. I am using this Revlon blow dryer that I got from Target and an attachment piece that I got from Sally's. For my heat protectant, I'm using the Tresemme's Heat Tamer and this is just a leave-in spray. I'm lightly blowing out my hair because my first protective style is going to be a crochet and so the girl is going to need to have to braid my hair down. 
I like to go in with my hair kind of blown out so that it's a lot easier for both of us. It doesn't hurt me as much and she doesn't have to deal with detangling my hair prior to styling it. Now to kind of finish off everything, I'm going to grease my scalp. So I've been natural since 2011 and I just started putting grease on my hair last year. And I'm using the Duke Grow Hair Vitalizer Mega Long Paraben Free Grease. Because I have to go to work tomorrow, I'm just gonna put my hair into two flat twists, which is a really easy style and something that I like to do all the time when I just don't feel like being bothered with my hair. This is also a great short-term protective style that you can wear for a week, maybe even two weeks if you want to. And you can also style your hair like this on stretched hair or either your curly hair when you're rocking an old twist style or wash and go. So this is the finished look. My hair is clean, moisturized, and also in a very neat style until I get my regular protective style. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a list of all the products I will use below in the description bar. Thank you.